What is going on members of the Shy Guy Squad? My name is Dan, otherwise known as Donkey, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sun and Moon Citra Quality Wi-Fi battle here today against Ace, Trainer, Sky. Definitely check them out, links in the description. Uh, we are of course again back with another Pokemon of the week, which should be pointed out to you guys from the team highlight, you should see who it is, but I'm really excited to give you this battle. It was a really good battle I had against my good friend Sky. And uh, the team that I brought today consists of Beware, Thunderous T, uh, Curum, Heatran, or Heatran, what am I saying? That's a Volcanion, Dan. That's a Volcanion. That's the Schlong. You have Serena and Mesprit. And my opponent has brought here today two spiders, one bird, Verizon, uh, the phone company, uh, a rolling uh, elephant, and a huge dog. In other words, Galvantula, Araquanid, Staraptor, Verizion, Donphan, and Arcanine. But with that being said, let's just get into this battle because that is why you guys are here. So if you guys are enjoying this stuff, be sure to leave a like as all support is greatly appreciated. But I'm going to lead off with my beware right here. Beware of beware, ladies and gentlemen. He is here. I also want to take a moment to give a huge shout out to Sergeant of Dokes for the uh, new graphics that he decided to provide to me because he commissioned to do wi battles but he told me that he wasn't going to do wi battles and asked if I wanted to get the graphics and I was really I really appreciate that so definitely go check out Dokes links in the description <clears throat> but he's going to go into Dawnfen here on my Beware and look at Beware just going in town going to town here Beware is a monster I feel like I on this team I played it a little bit poorly but I feel like I, I really got a new like admiration for a Pokemon here. So I'm just gonna go for Swords Dance right here. And uh, my boy Beware is ready to go to town, man. He just set up them Swords Dances and now it's about to smash. So um, my boy Dawn Fan here is gonna set up some rocks, some pebbles on my side of the field. Not that I'm too afraid of him, but uh, he's gonna get some lefties recovery and all that. And Beware is just standing here like, are you ready to get absolutely fisted? Uh, this thing is about to get destroyed. Ice punch coming your way. That is what I say. And he lives on like a sliver. Now, in hindsight, going for return would have been a better play. But at the end of the day, since I got the freeze, which I do feel really bad about, it does not even matter. Because return would have like a slightly higher base power. But, you know, the fact that it, I got the freeze makes it so it's all null and void anyways. Now, of course, I never think that hacks is a good thing. But, you know, there we go. I need to learn myself that while battling as well, that you know, I gotta go by base power, because you know, at the end of the day, return will be stronger because it's 102 and stab, but in comes Arcanine, and Jesus on God, I've never seen a Pokemon go down faster in my life. So he goes for, f <clears throat> he goes for Flare Blitz, right? And I'm thinking, oh, I, I am fluffy, so it means I'm still technically resisting the move, oh my God. Now this is where I also figured out that, you know, you'd be surprised, Beware is regularly pretty fat towards physical hits. And I figured out that this Arcana, this thing is hella banded. This thing absolutely destroyed me. So he goes for another Flare Blitz, and look at this HP bar drop, ladies and gentlemen. Watch that HP bar, oh my goodness. That's the one hell of a banded Arcana, probably a Jolly, but still Choice Banded. Jesus Christ, look at that Choice Band gone. That was terrifying <laughs> from uh, my opponent's part, but really nice bring. Choice Banded Arcanine, I definitely want to see if I can uh, do something around that in the future. I really do like Arcanine though, nice Pokemon, very good Pokemon, but uh, he just destroyed two of my Pokemon like that, so I'm going to summon Hamon, Lord of Strikening Thunder. And uh, yeah, so now we, have a, uh, now we have a Sacred Beast on the field as he's going to go for Extreme Speed, trying to uh, knock out my Hamon. But you know the rules, if Haman knocks out a, a monster on the field, the owner also takes 1,000 life points. Uh, I'm going to stop with these Yu-Gi-Oh references. I mean, all my team is named after Yu-Gi-Oh references, but that's a different story. So I'm going to go into uh, Bryonac, the dragon, um, the guardian of the ice barrier, something like that, dragon of ice barrier. I always forget why I called it Bryonac, but I know there is a good card that represented, like, um... There was like a dragon that represented Kira in Yu-Gi-Oh form, and I was like, that's a dope-ass name. So he's going to go for a Karosa combat too, but it's not going to knock out my Bryonac. Nah, nah, nah. My uh, Bryonac is too strong for that shit, and an Ice Beam is going to pop this Staraptor. I'm telling you. 
But yeah, there go down goes the Staraptor, which actually looks really nice shiny in a Citra. I mean, I was never original. I always prefer regular Staraptor, but at the same time, yeah, they look kind of nice. And then we got my boy Spooder on the field. Spooder is here. Spooder is ready. There's Stealth Rex on the field, so I can't withtract my Kyurem. Also, I wanted to mention, Kyurem looks kind of, like, it looks great and trash at the same time. And I can't, like, I don't understand. Like, it looks great there, but at the same time, whoa, what the, oh, oh. Okay, I just realized what that was, okay. Um, <laughs> I was like, wait, well, what? Yeah, I go into my um, Serena here, my specially defensive Serena, meant to set up screens and all that shenanigans. Oh, I see that now, okay. Uh, so I'm gonna go for Rapid Spin here, because I want to get rid of these hazards, which in hindsight means that I could have gone into Serena earlier and um, gotten rid of the Stealth Rocks, and then I could have preserved my Curum. So I guess kind of a bit of a misplay on my part, but at the same time, I don't think... I, I wouldn't have been able to switch into Serena like I did. But he's gonna go for a Leech Life and get all of that health, juicy health back. Got all of that back, so very unfortunate on my part, of course. Very good on my opponent's part. I'm just gonna go for a Trop Kick here to try to weaken this Araquanid. And um, he's gonna, of course, lose his attack, like, you know, as he do, because Trop Kick has a 100% chance to drop your opponent's attack. For those who did not know, but he's gonna just gonna go for another Leech Life, and that is going to be more than enough to take down my Serena for good. So very unfortunate right there, but that means that I'm left off with my Shlong and my um, Hamon. Yeah, Hamon and Shlong, those are my last two Pokemon. I got Thunderous, your boy, coming in here and glad I got rid of those rocks because now Hamon has two hit three hits in him. And he is going to swap out into the Verizion. So nice and threat coming out here is I'm just going to Volt Switch out because I do not wish to deal with this thing. So I'm just going to take a quick Volt Switch out of here. As you guys can see, I have 16 out of 143, 44 health, meaning that I can take one more of them. Um, one more of those. Um, <laughs> blah, I'm completely blanking out. One more of those um, Life Orb hits, or two more actually. But uh, I'm gonna go for Fire Blast and Verizion. That shit just dropped. Choice Scarf Volcanion, ladies and gentlemen. This thing is a monster. Now the thing is right here, here comes an array of plays that could have been done differently. I decided to go for Fire Blast here. Now if I were to go into my um, Haman, my Thunderous, I could have gotten a free switch in to my Haman right here on the Mirror Coat and really pressure that Araquanid. So it would have been really nice for us, but unfortunately I do stay in. So now I decided to go for a Fire Blast on the Araquanid just for the sake of, you know, like going for... Um, the damage because I felt like he was going to go for the regular move or like the normal t uh, offensive move this turn. So what I'm going for here is I'm trying to bait him to click mirror code again. And then on that turn that I think he's going to click mirror code, I'm going to go back into Thunderous, which I think is this turn right here. Yeah, I did kind of hope that, hey, I've been clicking it twice now. Do you want to click mirror code this turn so I could get a switch into Haman? But alas, my opponent sees right through that. He goes for another leech life and my Haman just straight up drops. So unfortunate there that my Haman Lord of Strikening Thunder is uh, down and out. But you know what? It happens. So my Thunderous drops and there's nothing more I can do with my boy Schlong. So uh, what's going to happen now is that I'm going to go for a Sludge Wave. I don't really know why I clicked that or, I don't know, Fire Blast. I guess the remaining part of his team didn't like Sludge Wave or something like that because I am Choice Scarf. And he just clicks Mirror Coat, which is going to drop me to about 3 HP. So, I mean, there's always a chance of, like, a Super Crit or something like that. But I don't think that uh, there's any way for me to combat this game. But it was a really good game nonetheless, as I'm going to click another Sludge Wave. And this Araquanid is just going to take me out with Leech Life. So really good game to my opponent, Ace Trainer, Sky or Ace Leader, Sky, I can never remember that at in my head, but links will be in the description, be sure to check them out, absolutely great battler, I really enjoyed this battle, of course if you enjoyed be sure to leave a like, answer the question of the day which popped up when that Gudra Cry came out, I just forgot that that was a thing, and of course subscribe to the channel, we're 8 away from uh, 1000 200 and the growth on the channel has been absolutely staggering thank you guys so much for subscribing and checking out the channel if you guys are enjoying the content and all that stuff like that it makes me really happy to know that you guys are enjoying but with that being said thank you all for watching have a beautiful day and i hope to see you all next time